In this online tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how you can actually buy cryptocurrency in the UK. If you're wondering why I'm making this tutorial, it's because recently there was a large amount of cryptocurrency exchanges that have been banned, especially with UK banks. So I'm making this tutorial because like myself, I was struggling to find a solution and I do seem to have found that solution and that's what this video is for. So um, I'm going to first tell you which banks don't allow cryptocurrency purchases. So let's get into that. So right here, this is a helpful article from businessexpert.com, the code UK actually. Um, and it has the full list of which banks are not crypto friendly. Now I've seen some people make tutorials online where they're talking about which banks are crypto friendly um, and they've got it wrong. They actually do have it wrong. They have outdated information because you're right here, almost half of the UK banks do not support cryptocurrency in any form with most regulated banks blocking some transactions and exchanges. So um, essentially these are the banks in which you cannot purchase any cryptocurrency related purchases with these banks. So we've got First Bank, Metro Bank, Halifax, HSBC, Santander, Starling Bank, The Cooperative Bank, TSB Bank, Virgin Money, Wise and Fire. So essentially you can see right there that there are a ton of banks that don't offer cryptocurrency related support. Now, if this does get updated and more cryptocurrency exchanges do get added, and of course more banks do decide to block cryptocurrency purchases for whatever reasons, because I do know that the laws are very dynamic and they will change in the future, um, I do have a solution for you as well. So um, of course, as you do know, we need to talk about which banks that actually do allow it. Because of course, if you are someone who maybe you bank with Santander, maybe you bank with Starling, you might be wondering, what is my solution? That video, your solution is going to be coming in a second. Just trust. So of course, you could just open your account. And I would honestly recommend doing this if you want to purchase crypto, simply because of what's coming in the future. I think that crypto is going to be cracked down a lot more. I think there's going to be a lot more reg regulation. And I do think that it, it makes sense to bank with someone who does actually allow the purchases. Um, and so far, this, this website has done the research and they said that Revolut is the best challenge. And now, of course, you might not want to open a new bank account and I've got a solution for that. The only reason I'm talking about this is because, of course, um, what I'm about to tell you may be patched, like it, it may change in the future. So, yeah, Revolut Bank is the friendliest crypto bank as of standing, as of, you know, filming this video in 2023. So, as I was saying, this is the best UK bank that you can use. Um, of course, sometimes you might be able to get a payment through to Coinbase. Um, to their knowledge, you can see that right here, it says Revolut, Monzo, and many of these other ones right here. I will leave a link to the article down below. Um, and of course, there is one silver bullet, okay? And I just want to say that this silver bullet won't probably last forever. So um, you definitely want to sign up to this platform immediately because I don't think they're going to support cryptocurrency forever because I've seen some exchanges take it off. So when I was researching um, and when I realized myself, okay, um, this is the article that, uh, you know, goes over. So, of course, as you guys know, Monzo is very popular, but, of course, many people who use Monzo can't actually buy it. So, it says, after evaluating over 30 FCA regulation changes, we found that Etoro is the top choice for Monzo bank customers. So, if you own a bank account and you can't open, you know, a another bank account for whatever reason, maybe you don't have the details, maybe you don't have the time, maybe you can't be bothered, I would say what you need to do is you need to sign up to eToro and you honestly have to. And this is not just me. I'm going to have an affiliate link in the description. It's only valid for like 10 things. Um, after that, after 10 signups, I literally don't get anything from it. So if you don't want to, you don't have to use the link. You can literally just click another one. But, you know, it would be nice. Um, so yeah, you can see right here, essentially what you're going to do is, is go on eToro. Now eToro, now eToro is not a cryptocurrency exchange. Um, I'm going to show you exactly what eToro is. eToro is essentially just a platform in which you can buy stuff. Okay. You can just buy like, you know, financial assets. Okay. So, uh, if we go on the watch list, you can see that what it actually does have. Okay. It did start out mainly as stocks, but in 2021, they made a key change to start uh, buying crypto, okay? And when they bought crypto, it meant that people who were also investing in stocks could now purchase crypto. Now, the reason this is good is because, uh, you know, if you're using one of the banks that is banned, like many people that I know, okay, and you're thinking, okay, I don't want to open a new bank account. I, I, I still want to purchase crypto. Where do I go? All you need to do is open an account with eToro. It's actually really, really simple and really, really quick. And of course, you can see right here, they have this crypto tab. Now, What's cool about this as well, guys, is that um, if we go on crypto, this is not all they have. This is just a watch list. Um, if we go on discover, because that just makes it seem like they've only got um, a few things here. So yeah, as you guys can see right here, they, they've got a huge area. So they've got stocks, crypto, indices. They've even got some NFTs. I didn't, I didn't honestly didn't even know that. But um, yeah, if we go here, you can see, okay, that what we have is many different coins, okay? And you can actually buy these coins easily, okay? Very, very, very easily. So for example, let's say I wanted to buy some 
ADOS, some Cardano, I can literally just click invest and I simply open that trade um, and I can simply buy that. Now, the reason this is good as well is what they also do have is you can actually then use this to send it to different exchanges. So some people use this as their centralized exchange because the UK has banned that crypto account. So essentially, the reason UK banks don't ban eToro and the reason eToro is kind of like a, I guess you could say a silver bullet is because eToro isn't a cryptocurrency exchange. It is a stock exchange, um, indices and commodities and ETFs. That's mainly what it is. But now, of course, they've allowed people to just essentially buy cryptos on a stock exchange. And of course, it's kind of a way to, you know, bypass that. So it's not really a bypass. It's mainly just, you know, using another platform to just simply buy that. So it's definitely something that you can do. And this is definitely what I would recommend if you don't want to open another account. But of course, if you want to use Coinbase, if you want to use the other popular stuff, you will have to open another UK bank account. I know that, you know, in times maybe you're watching this and there's a coin popping off right now and you really want to go buy it. Of course, you will have to wait for that stuff to be verified. But um, yeah, like I said, you just head on over to the crypto section. You can simply explore and there are a ton of coins. Now, you might be also asking yourself, OK, what if there is a coin that I want to buy that isn't on eToro? They only have 59 cryptocurrencies available. OK, fair question. OK, so, for example, essentially what you have right here, you guys can see right here that there are many different cryptocurrencies. Now, of course, they don't have every single one. And of course, if you are trying to buy cryptocurrency in the UK, you might be wondering, OK, well, the kind of cryptocurrency that I'm trying to buy isn't on these exchanges. So what do I do here? So this is what you're going to do if you're trying to buy a specific altcoin. Maybe it's alt season. Maybe it's a year from now. It's alt season. It's popping off and you're thinking, I need to get on an exchange today. I don't want to be waiting at all. OK, this opportunity is going to pass. So what you need to do is you need to click invest in whatever coin it is. OK, so um, as you guys can see right here, we've got Bitcoin. So I'm going to invest. Let's just say we invest one thousand dollars. OK, then I'm going to go to my portfolio. Then I'm going to hold this. And then essentially what you can do with this, OK, with this right here is that you can actually transfer this to a different wallet. OK, so on the mobile app, I'm not going to go on the mobile app right now. I'm going to show you guys the, the tutorial. You can see right here, you can actually send your cryptocurrencies from your eToro money wallet to another wallet. So it's actually really cool for that purpose. So even if you're banned on, let's say, for example, Coinbase and, you, and, you, and your bank account is just saying like, nope, you can just go on eToro, sign up, buy a bunch of Bitcoin and send it to your Coinbase. So all you need to do is open the eToro app on your mobile device and sign in under the crypto tab. Just uh, type the cryptocurrency you wish to send, click send, and then, you know, it, that's done. It's pretty much done. So um, this does take a while, though. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This isn't instant. It will take a day or two. I've done this before and it does take a while or two. And you will need to have an SMS verification so if you don't have a number, make sure you get a number. So this is what you need to do if you are trying to buy uh, Bitcoin, if you're trying to buy altcoins. This is what, uh, you know, some people I know are doing. Um, when some people have asked me, this is the only solution that I have found. So um, th there are two main solutions here. Number one is, of course, buying on eToro, just going to Discover, signing up for this 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 platform, um, going uh, on this platform and buying your crypto here. That is one solution. The other solution, of course, is to just open another bank account with something like Revolut or something that you know doesn't really care about this stuff that much. So that would be my advice to you if you are trying to buy crypto in the UK, because I do know that many different banks have just out of nowhere decided to ban it, and I do think that in the future there are going to be a lot more banks banning crypto in the future because of the coming crackdowns. So let me know what you're all thinking about this tutorial. Did this help you? I don't know. There are many different tutorials that are outdated. I'll leave some links in the description that are really helpful to this. Hopefully this did help you out. But um, yeah, more of the story, either use eToro, which you can use, and then you can send that to many different exchanges, any exchange that you want. It's just going to take a bit of time because their wallets are really slow, but it does work right now. And I would use this um, as quick as possible because like I said, I, I don't think this is going to last forever. So with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, I'll see you in the next one.